Hey, this is Matthew Verstig with iAutomate, and we are back with the Schema Localizer plugin setup. Now we're on the social profile section. For those of you that have heard of Schema or you're real familiar with it, you're going to recognize this area as a same as markup. A same as markup is just a way of showing Google and other search engines what your business is connected to, where else they can find you. Okay? It's just saying, this site that this code is on is the same as another site. Okay, so that's the same as. It's the same as something else. So what could your business also be connected with? Where else could we find your business on the internet? Facebook, Twitter, Google+, many other websites as well. Okay, so we have a few of them listed here, but I don't want you to be limited to this. Typically when I do a full markup on a website, I'll do as many as 15 or 20 or 25 of these fields here. Okay, so how do I do that? I can just hit add profile. And as I do that, more and more boxes will be toggled open here. Okay, so you can just keep hitting add, add, add as many times as you want and just filling out all of your site top citations. I don't put like every citation in here, but I put all my major ones in here. If I have other blogs or other top social media sites for this business, I'm going to put them in here as well. So how does this work? We have a sample business here that we've been using and we have a couple properties for them. So let's just take the Google Plus and copy that. Now the Google Plus we're going to put right here into this URL box. Now there's an option that says show name. If I check this, it's actually going to create a link on the page that the schema is going on over to Google Plus. So it will be an actual hyperlinked URL that you could click over to the Google Plus page. If I leave this unchecked, the markup will still be there behind the scenes, but we will not have a visible link on the page. I leave it just like this. I don't check show name because I'm going to put so many citations and social profiles in here. I don't want 20 or 25, 30 links uh, off my page. Uh, it just it wouldn't look that great. You certainly can if you want but I'm usually putting my markup somewhere in the middle of the page or if it's a single location, I'm putting it down in the footer. I just don't want that many links there. So that's an option. If you want it to be linked up automatically, you can just check that. Okay, so the other profile that I have here ready to go is a Yelp. Okay, so if I go ahead and I take this Yelp, you'll see there's not an option in just these defaults here for Yelp, but that's not a problem. You can mark up any site that you want. So I'm just going to come into the social profile URL, paste in my Yelp address, and you'll see that there's this name box. If I type Yelp in this box, it's going to link it up just like if I were to check this on Google+. Okay, It's going to create a visible link on the page over to Yelp. Now, I'd rather these just be in the code for Google to see and not necessarily for the visitors to see. If I want to do Yelp on the page, I'm probably going to show a Yelp badge or do something else. Okay? But I do want to get credit for it in my same as markup so Google can connect me to my other you know, social profiles and citations. So I'm just going to leave this blank right now. I would then come in and put in more citations, more social profiles right in these URL boxes. Okay, And that's it. You can add as many social profiles or top citations as you want here. I wouldn't do like a hundred or anything, I would just do the top ones, okay, the most authoritative sites that are connected to your business, okay? That will then help to show Google what you're about. They'll understand who you are, where else you can be found, and this is very key for making a strong entity in Google's mind, which is what you're after, okay? So that's all for the social profile same as section. In the next section, we're going to come back I'm going to show you how to mark up a Google map of your business. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video.